welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to create the model pop-up to view the rooms description as well as the big image carousel everything so as I said we are going to use the react bootstrap framework for our model pop-up so there are many model pop-ups available in the bootstrap so I think they are somewhat difficult so that's the reason we are going to choose the easiest one so first of all you have to install the react bootstrap so control C npm i react bootstrap so it will install so you can open the react bootstrap react bootstrap model open the first one so it's very simple so if you click on this button it will give the model pop-up like this so this is the model header this is the model body and this is the model footer so if you have any input fields you can click on this save changes if you do not have any input fields you can click on this close button or this close button so it's very simple it is a simple functional component you can copy this entire code and paste it in our component so first of all copy these hooks so I'll explain later this so first of all copy and paste it in our component here write npm start and in the room.js copy it and paste it here control s and here I'm going to write the model pop-up after this call md4 and this call md7 is completed you have to write this model pop-up So here you have to copy, copy entire thing, paste it here, control S. So the app is still restarting, let it start. Here you can see guys the application has restarted but we got the error model and button. So we have to import this model and button from the bootstrap, react bootstrap. So at the top I am going to write import model and button from react bootstrap and we are also using this use state hook so let it import these also use state control s now the error should gone yeah now there is no error so let's click on this refresh the page so here you can see we got this button launch a demo model later we will style this don't worry about it click on it so here you can see we got the model pop-up so close it and now apply the launching action instead of this button to this button so remove this button and apply the same action to this view details button so it's very simple so here you can see for this button we are having the on click so rem apply these on click function to the our button view details button remove this button control s so here you can see we are having this button and here I am going to write on click on click and for this on click we are going to write handle show so we are having two functions handle show and handle close handle show is what a button is used to display the model pop-up and handle close is button handle close function is used to hide the uh, model pop-up so here you can see we are having two hooks const show const set show so these uh, these two functions will update the show values so we are going to display the model pop-up based on that show variable only if show is equal to true it will display the model pop-up if show is equal to false it will hide the model pop-up so this is the only thing we need to change in this model pop-up so instead of using the bootstrap button so remove that bootstrap button and apply the on click function for our button view details button now let's check click on view details here you can see now we got the model pop-up so now I'm going to edit this model pop-up so instead of their data we are going to add our room data close it so let's check our model pop-up view details so in the header we are going to display our room name so model.title is equal to 
room dot name room dot name and in the model body we are going to add the image carousel as of now remove it so here i am going to uh, remove the save changes button so here in the model header we have in we want close button so keep it as it is control s now let's check view details so we got the room name and close button and uh, this description in the body so instead of this description i am going to add the bootstrap carousel not bootstrap react bootstrap carousel so in the in the bootstrap also we are having the carousel but the code is very difficult so we are going to use the react bootstrap carousel carousel so click on the first website so this is the react bootstrap carousel so here we have to display the image if you click on this next the next image will be loaded and if you click on this previous the previous image will be loaded so it's very simple so first of all we have to import this carousel already we have imported button and model pop-ups now i am going to import the carousel so let's copy the spelling copy and paste it here carousel yeah so now in the body we are going to loop through the image array images array and we are going to render that carousel so it's very simple so first of all we have to have one array which is having the objects of data so then only we can loop through it so let's copy the entire thing carousel and paste it in our model body so this is the model body remove this description and add it what we have copied and here we are having the four carousel items so we need only one carousel item and we are going to loop through it so except one carousel item remove everything so i am removing the first one and removing the second one and i am removing the third one so now we have only one carousel item sorry we have re we have removed everything so let's copy one carousel item yeah this is the carousel item copy in this yeah so remove this carousel caption we don't need this or if you want to display our uh, room description in the carousel caption also you can display it so here in the carousel item already we are having the image so we also need image only so we need not to replace anything uh, here for the source we are going to change it so copy this entire carousel item and now write the array so we are having the images in our rooms dot room dot image urls array room dot image urls dot map so for every iteration we are going to get one url so that's the reason i am going to write url only sorry yeah so here return copy the carousel item so for every iteration we are going to get one carousel item and in that carousel item we are having only one image so here i am going to change the src src is equal to url that's it so remove this alt control s and now i am going to add the styling for this image class name is equal to big img already we are having the small img now i am going to write the class name as big img so in the index.css i am going to write the big img so if you are having any doubts in that carousel you can refer the bootstrap not bootstrap react bootstrap documentation it's very simple big img so for this big img i am going to write height is equal to 400 pixels yeah now let's check refresh the page view details so we are having these next and previous icons here you can see if you click on next the room is uh, loading other room is loading 
so i think we have to increase the width also so you just need to add one line to this model pop-up just write the property called as the size so here you can see we are going to write the size property for this model size is equal to lg large so now it will increase the width here you can see the width is increased successfully so if you want to remove this previous and uh, next uh, text also you can remove it so for this also we are having some props in this model pop-up so it is very simple so we are having the previous label and the next label so if you want to write the text you can write if you want to remove you just need to keep it empty so i will keep it empty it's disturbing so this is the carousel here i'm going to write previous label previous i think let's check react bootstrap carousel yeah prev label not previous label prev label prev label equal to empty and next label is also empty that's it now let's check now we should able to see only arrow icons so the text has gone you can see here so we are only having the arrow icons so now in the bottom of this image i am going to apply the description so bottom of this carousel P that means paragraph room dot description yeah control s here you can see now the description is also applied successfully so now I will hide this close button so it's disturbing so already we are having close here so we need not to use at the top so here we have to remove this close button in the model header yeah you can see here we are having the close button directly at the bottom so the model pop-up is completed so if you want to add the uh, border radius for this big IMG also you can add it so in the index.css already we are having the big IMG where is it yeah border radius 5px important here you can see the border radius applied successfully so by this we have completed the setup of our home page so in the further lectures we are going to work on the date range component and this book now filter all those things etc thank you